Here is the logic of a large population of Christians. Many will say that drinking wine is a sin, but that pork has been made into a clean item. So you're telling me that throughout the ages, the Most High God of Heaven told His people that drinking wine was permissible, but condemned the act of eating pork and other unclean foods as an abomination. Then on the flip side, waited until about 2,000 years ago to say, oh wait, never mind people, I hate wine now, but pork chops are awesome. Just gorge yourselves until your nose bleeds and you die of a heart attack. You have Christians out there that will look at you like you're crazy and call you some type of wicked sinner for consuming wine, but then will turn around and eat pork, shrimp, catfish, lobster, crab, etc. It has been proven that certain wines are actually very good for your health, reducing high blood pressure and much more. But all of the animals that I just named are responsible for the fact that there are way too many people in the hospital that don't have to be. Yah isn't the author of confusion, so why would he unstably change his mind like a teenage girl and tell you that it's okay to eat foods that your body wasn't designed to eat? The fact of the matter is he wouldn't. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 says, For I am Yah, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 8 through 9 says, Yahushua is the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. I mean, the last scripture alone is enough to cause you to think. He said that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever, so don't be led away by false doctrines, because your heart isn't supposed to be established with meats. I mean, that along with many other scriptures in the Bible is enough to completely obliterate the doctrine of pray over anything you want to eat and then it's clean all of a sudden, especially considering the fact that back then in the Old Testament that was not the case. One more thing I want to say real quick is that many Christians believe that suicide is a sin that will send you straight to hell. So if willfully destroying your own flesh, resulting in your own permanent end is a sin warranting hell fire, then does it really matter how you do it? If you swallow a ton of pills, jump off a bridge, use a gun, stick your hand in an electric socket, or eat a ton of worm infested heart attack inducing pork, either way you killed yourself and you're going to hell. If you know what you're eating is killing you, then you as a conscious, alive human being have the responsibility to change your eating habits. And if you believe in divine judgment for the sin of suicide, then ultimately you've condemned your own self to the lake of fire by slowly and knowingly killing yourself by eating pork and other abominable foods that were clearly and strongly condemned by the Most High Yah of Heaven.